Hello, everybody, and welcome to April 2022 Goddess Guidance Oracle Message. I am your hostess, Deanna Durrell, intuitive relationship coach and spiritual mentor. And today, if you're new to the community, I like to pull oracle cards for the month so you can see what to expect. And this is a very intuitive community, so if you do um, want to get the most out of this, I would recommend getting a notepad and a pen and writing down your personal impressions about what you get for the cards that I pull up. And if you'd like to learn more, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the website at thedancinggoddess.com. All right, let's dive right in. So April is a very fast pace month. You may have already started to feel the energy pick up since the end of March. It's like there is something in the air that's saying now is the time. Stop waiting, stop delaying, stop procrastinating on that thing that you want. Go after the highest version of it and being the highest version of yourself while you're receiving it, right? So it's a month, um, if I were to encapsulate it in one word, it would be bold. So being bold, really going after your dreams and not waiting for permission. And also like giving yourself permission to not do it perfectly, but also to not have all of the answers right now because you're not going to. You're going to have to take some risks this month if you really want to reap the most benefits. And we start off the month with a bang, with a with a new moon in Aries right on uh, the evening of March 31st. And for some of you, it's going to be morning of April 1st. And this energy is asking all of us to declare desires, not what you think you can get, not what other people want for you, but what do you actually want to stand for? What are you going to, where are you going to back yourself up? and not water yourself down anymore. As it relates to relationships, this is an opportunity to really let go 1000% of the patterns that are not serving you when it comes to receiving, deservability, worthiness. So if you've had like an X in the background, that's, you know, you're keeping there because you don't want to be alone, but it's definitely not right. This is the month where you might let them go 100% and be okay with being by yourself, being in your own company. Wherever we feel uncomfortable with our own company, that is a sign, that is a just an invitation to love yourself and see what am I afraid of uh, if I'm not in a partnership? And the reality is, is that you're always kind of supported by the universe, but it can feel um, it can feel a little bit isolating if you're always used to being codependent and leaning on a romantic partner to kind of fill a lot of unmet needs. So it's a great month where, you know, you'll get to see your wounds, you'll get to see your old stories, and then you can just let them go. Finally, 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 finally. So let's pull some cards, shall we? April is actually a long month. So I'm going to pull five cards. And I don't know what they are, which is kind of fun. So the first week in April is beauty. So this is a fairy who is like combing her hair. She looks just like she's totally a badass, unapologetically grooming herself. And the message is about really presenting, presenting to the world the self that you feel inside. So whether that is you know, oh, I need to change my hairstyle or, oh, you know what? I need to not talk to myself that way. Whatever it is, internal or external, you want the two to match and you want to like what you're seeing in the mirror. So this is an invitation to all of us. Okay, this week, what do we need to change? Maybe about the way you're carrying yourself or the way you're talking to yourself and take action accordingly. Then we go to week two which is quiet time. It's a fairy just like sitting by this beautiful little lake, this little river area, and just kind of meditating on what she wants. So 
what is it that you want? In the second week of April, you're going to be given an opportunity to go deeper, to go inward to what's really important to you. And also, I'm noticing the waterfall over here. Water represents our emotions. So you may need to cry. You may want to like take some kind of a, a sabbatical with yourself. Journaling, baths are great. You may just want to pull inward. And it's not that you're doing anything wrong. You're just feeling the energy, right? So it's like, okay, I'm aligning to my true self. Wow, that's really scary. This is what came up when I did that. Right? I took a risk. This is how it feels. And you can reevaluate. Then on April 16th, we have a full moon in Libra. And then it moves into Scorpio later that afternoon. So what does that mean? April 16th is a time when a relationship pattern or a relationship itself may come to conclusion. So we could see this as breakups. We could see this as getting engaged or taking it to the next level, like something wraps up and a new cycle begins. And because it's in Libra, it is the sign of relationships. It is the sign of balance and beauty. And so whatever is throwing you off balance, whatever is not making you feel beautiful is going to have to go. And it may be taken away from you or you may voluntarily exit stage left or they may, okay? So don't be afraid of the changes that are coming because they're all going to serve you. And the card for the third week is, love it, dreams coming true. So whatever you can dream, whatever you believe, that's what's going to come into your reality. If you're going for the brass ring, if you want to, you know, settle down with that special person, then you've got to let go of everything that's not that. And that can be hard. There may be a waiting period. A lot of you may be saying, oh my God, I've been waiting for years. When is it going to change? Well, I can't give you timing of anything, but are your actions aligned to your dreams or your fears? That's a good question to ask in this third week. Then in the fourth week, we got a lot of these nature cards. So this is a fairy that's kind of out with a bunny. She's by herself and it's kindness. So in the fourth week, it's all about gentleness. It's about gentle relationships. So looking at where maybe you've been too harsh on yourself or another person. And the bunny is also about fertility. I see that little tiny, that little tiny um, fairy baby being. So it's also, you know, if you've been trying to conceive, this could be a step in the right direction. Or if you have an idea that wants to birth, whatever you want to birth, whatever you want to use your creative, sensual, sexual energy for, that second chakra stuff, you can. But this is saying, be kind to yourself. Don't base it on the past or what you, uh, you know, what you accomplished before because you're in a new chapter, you're a new person and a new version of yourself. Um, there's a reason why I'm wearing my infinity necklace today. Um, this was given to me by, by my father, and it always reminds me um, to feel limitless. You know, no matter what has happened to you in the past, you create your own story, and you can rewrite it anytime you want. So if the pictures aren't what you're liking, then change the picture and change the color and change the people in the picture. This is also a special month because we've got another new moon at the end, right at the end, April 30th in Taurus, which is such a great placement. Taurus is all about sensuality, about um, you know money and abundance, and also about you know the material world and feeling safe and secure. Some of you may see that you're moving this, um, this coming month in April. New location could mean a literal move. It could also mean, you know, you're moving energy. And the butterflies are not lost on me. This is about transformation. People may start to question, like, why are you acting like this? You never used to say that before. You're speaking up for yourself more this month, right? You're setting boundaries. You're getting super clear. You might want a life that's very different from the people around you. This is the month to claim it and really vision it. So let's just recap really quick. The month starts off with beauty and an emphasis on alignment between inner and outer self. The more you can do that, the more you will feel on track, even if you are taking a risk. Then it's time for some meditation and quiet time. You might get clear on who needs to go, who you want to get closer to, and what your next steps are. 
Hold fast to your dreams and don't limit yourself on what came before. What you want to create, what you want to birth, you can have, but you need to be kind to yourself. And it will take you to a new place, either literally or metaphorically, where you are supposed to be. So that is it for April. Your watchwords are bold. And I would say also have faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the universe and the process. And you know you can adopt the mantra, I am exactly where I need to be at all times. I would love to hear from you if this video spoke to you. Send me a message. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel and check out the website at thedancinggoddess.com. I hope you have an amazing April and we will talk soon, guys. Thank you for watching.